everyone, my name is Juanita Tippins and I'm Tongan and I'm a musician. Uh, well, I grew up in a musical family, so that was already there. I was struggling to hold down a day job and do music at the same time because I was getting so much work in music. So eventually I just gave away the security job or what I, what I felt like was my security, I gave that away. And so once that happened, just lots and lots of jobs. And like most creative careers, you know, you'd put your fingers in different pockets. So you would, um, as a musician, you would do, um, say, you might teach, some, some musicians teach, you can teach, you can um, do, have your own band, you can do sessions um, at studios, like, uh, you know, recording for ads on TV or for people's albums, or you can go, you can be part of a touring, a touring band for an artist, or you can song write. You can write your own songs. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of places you can put your fingers in, so that you're always making some sort of income and you're always busy and learning and growing. You know, anything related to music that came my way, I took it. Okay, so sometimes I would do that job, and I'd be like, this is not for me. But through that, I may have made context that would lead to something that I did want to do. For me personally, I just took every opportunity until I got to a point where I can pick and choose. I have taught singing. I've recorded my own albums. You know, I've got a band called Sweet As. We play all around Sydney, places like Rock Lily, at the casino. As a backing vocalist, I've, you know, I've done The Voice, um, Australia's Got Talent, um, shows like that on TV, like Australian Idol when that was on as well. Um, I was a backing vocalist for those shows, tours, you know, uh, as a backing vocalist as well. So I've done uh, anyone from Jimmy Barnes to Joel Stevens, Jess Malboy, Guy Sebastian, the list goes on. But you know, once you're in there, they'll keep calling you to do those jobs if you still want to do them, you know. Um, so yeah, it's quite diverse. From doing the session work, which is the studio work, uh, for people, I got the opportunity to do um, Sapphire's movie. Um, so with that, uh, we had to audition for that. Um, so we auditioned for that, and then I got the role of um, the eldest sister, who's played by Deborah Malman. So I got to do her voice, which was which was fun, and do all the backing vocals as well. And so my voice ended up being on the movie and on the album as well, which is great. I really love connecting with people. You know, I like that. I love that. I love that you can be singing and, and like you look at someone and they're singing along with you, or, or they they get it, or you you make you're creating evoking emotions. You know, like you're creating a vibe. Like you have to be really passionate about not just music, but any career path that you choose. I think. You really have to be passionate about it because anything you choose to do in life is going to have its high points and low points. Music is no different, but you're not going to care about the low points. You're going to take them as lessons anyway because it's something that you really want to do and you're really passionate about it. You need to take opportunities, you know, if you're starting out. You really need to take every opportunity, you need to be prepared, you know. Do your homework, um, turn up, be present, you know, you need to do that. Because if you did do that, you would just learn so much and that makes you a better musician and a better person. Look, I think it's really important that, um, especially young people wanting to, to pursue a, a career in music, that it's really important that they understand that it takes time, you know. It takes time to build up the contacts, to, to having enough jobs. It takes time in any industry, but especially in music. But if you stick it out, you'll get there eventually. As, as a Polynesian myself, I understand, you know, as Polynesians, it's, it's very natural. It, we are very naturally gifted in music. Um, and so there is the misconception that just because you're good at it, that it's gonna happen for you straight away. It doesn't always happen like that. It takes time to build up your business, to build up your contacts, but it's worth it in the end. Like, it took me time. It took me time, but it's worth it. You just need, you have to be committed. You have to turn up on time. You gotta do your homework. You gotta be present, you know. You gotta treat people with respect, you know. Like, you just gotta do the fundamental things that 
well, as a Polynesian woman, I was taught growing up by my parents. So I think that's very important. Thank you.